All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakwadash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone for teaching his word in truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And this is the brother Gabar Yahweh from GMS Hawaii, uh, coming to you with another lesson. And this one is video that you see in front of you. Uh, is entitled, If She Doesn't Appreciate Wisdom, Leave Her to the Foolish Men Among Us. Okay, and um, that's what this, uh, this video that I'm doing was basically inspired by the title of this, this guy. His name is, uh, let me give you his name real quick. I just got on to him. Uh, Book of Alpha Roman, Ronomy, Dr. Boa, Boa. And uh, he's like, Kevin Samuels, he's like, uh, you know, I think his name Don Sharp or something like that. He's like one of those jakes that give you advice about dealing with women. You know what I'm saying? And uh, basically not falling for the wiles of these women. And so uh, basically, as the title says, it says that she, if she doesn't appreciate wisdom, leave her to the foolish men among us. And the woman, she doesn't appreciate wisdom because it wasn't imparted to her women on this side they appreciate power they don't appreciate uh uh wisdom and knowledge and understanding that's not something a woman is going to appreciate now i'm not saying that you don't have women believing because obviously you got sisters that believe in a background but for the most part you know when it comes to this wisdom it's not given to the woman is but it's given to the man real quick this is um uh what is it Bear with me. Salaki, just bear with me. I, oh, yeah, I had a scripture. I can't find it. Just bear with me. Again, the scripture that I wanted to get is in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 4. And it says, Unto you, O men, I call. And my voice is to the sons of men. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh voice is to us, is to the men. And again, not saying that you don't have sisters that believe and that listen quietly and intently, but the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh gave that wisdom, that knowledge and wisdom and understanding unto men. Let me read that again. Proverbs 8 and 4. It says, What unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. So when we go out here and we speak this word, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're calling to the men of Israel, man, first, chiefly to the elect men of Israel, and then even to two thirds of the men of Israel that are in their wickedness and, and, and their non repentance, repentive state, man, calling them back to repentance, man, actually calling all the Israelites back to uh, repentance, but only the elect of Israel is going to repent. And so, again, when it comes to knowledge and uh, wisdom or wisdom or or appreciation of wisdom is not going to be for a woman to do because Yahweh Bashim Shai didn't give her, put that in her spirit to to uh, appreciate. Again, what a woman appreciates is power, true power. You know, something that we here on this side, we lack in a, in a sense that of uh, any strength in this world, man. Our power is in Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay? But uh, outside of that, it's nothing up. There's no might in our hands in this society. And that's another reason why the Negro, Latino, and Native American woman, she don't wholly respect uh, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American men. You know, because Jake ain't got no power. Just like these, the, the women of these other nations, they, they deal with Jake on a, a, on a, 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 physical, a physical level too. Because they see the power that Jake got in that bedroom, you know. But they don't see the, the true raw power. And that's when when we when we get that in the kingdom, Lord willing, we part of the elect, hey, these women are going to appreciate us, man. Why? Because we're in a power seat. Like Esau right now, he's in a power seat. So chiefly the women of the world, including the women of our nation that's in the world, they 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 gravitate to him. Because his his visage alone is a what? A symbol of power in this society. It's not because Esau is wise and, and, and wisdom and knowledge and understanding that these women appreciate it. They're going to appreciate that on us. 
because that knowledge and wisdom understanding is going to be uh is going to be in this matter of fact this is a uh, this is a uh, deuteronomy chapter four verse six you can start at five i'm just letting it uh roll up this is deuteronomy chapter four verse five And it says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, my power, commanded me, that ye should do it so in the land, whither so ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people, man. And that's going to be from the man example, okay? It's not going to be from the example of the woman. She's going to be in complete order, okay? She's not going to be unruly, disobedient, and wanton like she is right now. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, when these nations see us in the kingdom of heaven, that's what they're going to say, man. Hey, let's go follow them. Because surely this is an understanding and wise people, man. Because we're going to have uh, uh, the righteous spirit, man, 100%. We're going to be 100% righteous in every way, okay? And the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh are going to uh, are going to be in us. So we, when, he, when, when the nations see us, these are some of the words that they're going to say to us, man. Surely this is a great nation. I'm sorry, surely this great nation, and the nation starts with the man, is a wise and understanding people, okay? And that's what this knowledge and wisdom and understanding is supposed to be to us down here. These statutes and these judgments, okay? And we're supposed to carry it and do it in wherever land we were at, okay? But when we went off and in and, and, and doing so, Yahweh Bashman al Shai destroyed us, you know what I'm saying? Put us through hell because we disobeyed his law, statutes, and commandments, all right? But again, that was directed to the men first. Okay, this is Job, Job, uh, chapter 39, verse 17. It says, because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. So the reason why, another reason why the woman can't appreciate wisdom or a man's wisdom, okay, is because wisdom is not imparted to her. Neither is the understanding of that wisdom. Is not given to her, but in this society, the woman, the woman, she believes that she's all wise, man, because she don't went to this devil's colleges, his universities, you know, she don't went to his class, uh, his uh, his um, masters, masters courses, her doctor, doctoral courses. So Esau give her these these accolades and show her that she's uh worthy, but in reality, she's not, because even if she got a doctor's degree. Uh, she's still going off, man. Even if she's if, if she's a judge, she's still going off, man. Because she's usurping authority over men. But she don't know that. And then she thinks that she's doing a good thing. But again, wisdom and knowledge and understanding was not given to her. Let me read that again. This is uh, Job 8 and 17. It says, because the Most High have deprived her. So he deprived this woman of wisdom. Let me read the word for deprived. The Hebrew word there is nasha. It says to forget, to deprive, to forget, forgotten, uh, to cause, to forget, to allow, to be forgotten, man. Okay? Because, see, the woman's role is to be under the man, guided by a man of wisdom. Okay? And he will direct her ways. Okay? She's not supposed to usurp authority over a man and exercise her wisdom. Because the first thing what happens when you get in a conversation with her, she's a, uh, oh, oh, I feel this way. I feel this way. Because she's run off of emotions. That's how she operates, man. Which operating off your emotions can be detrimental to you, man. If you overreact emotionally to a situation or you underreact emotionally or you're just driven by your emotions, how you feel. You see? And if you're moving like that, you're not moving in wisdom. And sadly, you know, two-thirds of our own, of, of, of the men of our nation 
they move in the same way a female move without wisdom. And that's why they be in uh, a lot of shit, man. Uh, this is a uh, matter of fact, since I brought that out, let me get this fixed real quick. And I'm gonna come back at you. This is, um, come to <clears throat> this is uh Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. So even having wisdom and, uh, and then obtaining wisdom, if you're not using it or applying it to your life with understanding, then it's, it's not going to be no use to you. Okay? And so wisdom is the principal thing above all things, man. Because with wisdom and understanding with wisdom, uh, I think Apostle Gubar, uh coined it uh, uh, app applicable wisdom, you know, putting wisdom to your life and actually applying that wisdom to your life. That's what make you separate from these people, man. Okay. And this is what, what right now the woman can't, she's not attracted to that right now. But in the, in the days to come when all hell's breaking loose, she's going to appreciate Jake and his wisdom in that day, man. Especially if it keep her alive, man, and keep her fed, okay? But again, we can't expect no woman to appreciate wisdom, you know, because it's not given to her. So even as wise as the men of the Lord are, uh, Lord, well, we, Lord, when we go to the end, we, uh, we have women, but they don't regard our wisdom like that, man. At least I, I know I can speak for myself. You know, I'm I, I telling my woman certain things and she's not going to understand it. So then I got to say, well, you're going to have to get or face whatever that follows, man. You know, whether that be the most high judging her or, or which anyway, that's, that's that's it. And that, that'll be with the most high judging her, man. Now, he can have mercy on her, but the point of the matter is she ain't going to respect your wisdom. Matter of fact, a poor man's wisdom. A poor man's This is uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 16. It's a lot. Uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 16. Yep. It says, Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. That's right. Wisdom is better than strength. Because that strength fade away, but wisdom is always there and always anew. You know? It says, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard, man. Right, because when a so-called white man and, or, or men of so-called status in the society, chiefly the nation of Edom, when they speak, everybody stop and listen. Everybody extol it to the clouds, like the scriptures say. You know, when he start to speak, he tell you that, oh, the, the earth is a million years old or 350 million years old, and the people believe it. Because his scientists push that, his scientists push that bullshit rhetoric. His uh, his his uh, his uh, teachers, his educators, they push that science bullshit, man. That that stuff falsely called science, man. And then the people believe it, they eat it up. But that's the wisdom of the world, man. And that's the wisdom of Esau. So people extol that, but when we tell them through the scriptures that the Earth is no more than thirteen thousand years old. <laughs> They people they they oh nigga you don't know what you're talking about man you, you know, how you how you know the, who was you to tell me you see why because they they despise a poor man's wisdom again then said I wisdom is better than strength nevertheless a poor man's wisdom is despised and it's another reason why your woman is going to despise your wisdom because you're poor and his words are not heard and our words aren't heard man and they definitely ain't gonna be heard by your woman man it's gonna go over her head she gonna get offended. She gonna get angry, you know what I'm saying? She gonna get uh, 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 proud. You see, he says he said if a, if if she doesn't appreciate wisdom, leave her to the foolish men among us. Which the scripture says a wicked woman is given to the hand uh, is is given to the portion of a wicked man. Hold on, slap me. <clears throat> so like I was saying. A wicked man, a wicked woman is given to the portion of a wicked man. So she's going to be left to those wolves anyway, man. 
You know, but the point of the matter is that she can't, your woman is not going to appreciate your wisdom because it's not given to her to appreciate it. And on top of the fact that we don't have any so-called, uh, uh, you know, physical power that she can see, man. You, that's when she's going to respect you. That's when she's going to uh, uh, appreciate your wisdom in that day when she see the, 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 uh, the power of the Lord on you, man. Okay? This is Micah 7 and 10. It says, Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, thy God? Right now, because right now, again, we us being in this poor state, she don't see it, you know. But when she see the power of Yahweh Bashem Shai manifest on us, man, uh, she gonna be she gonna be ashamed. She gonna be ashamed that she didn't listen, that she didn't humble herself. She gonna be ashamed that she uh, uh was wanton and proud. But it's gonna be too late for a lot of these uh these demons. It says, "Then she that is my enemy shall see it." And shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the myrrh in the street. So she's going to be trodden down as the myrrh in the street. Dirt. You look up that word for myrrh. The Hebrew word there is tayat. Uh, and it says mud, clay, dirt. Mud, mire, clay. And that's what's going to happen. She's going to get <laughs> rolled over. In that in that mud, man, she gonna get crushed, you know. And but before that happens, she gonna see that wisdom and knowledge manifest on you, man. Because like the scripture says in Isaiah, uh, um, was it Isaiah thirty three and six and six? Isaiah thirty three and six it says, "And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength the salvation." The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is his treasure. Right. So in that day, that, that wisdom of Yahweh Shai, that's going to be a stability for us in that time. And these women ain't going to see it. These, these women going to see how stable in the mind we are. She's going to see the raw power that Yahweh Shai Shai bestowed upon us. Lord, when we be part of the elect. She going to see that. You know? Because in that time, she all all her pride is going to be sucked out like a like air through a vacuum. Okay, and she's going to see a man of the Lord is stable in those times, and she's going to want to grab one to him, man. That's when the woman is going to appreciate our wisdom, man. Because right now the world doesn't appreciate the wisdom of Yahweh Yahweh which He's given to us as a gift, man. Just like faith, you know. This is uh, Isaiah 13 and 12. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man that than the golden wedge of Ophir. So Yahweh Shema Shai is going to make a man of the Lord more precious than gold. Man, and that day, nobody's going to be searching for uh, 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 gold. A man of the Lord is going to be held in high esteem. You know, so he says, uh, even a man, he says, I will make a man more precious. Let's look up that word for precious, man. The Hebrew word there is yakar, and it says, it says uh, to esteem, to be prized, be valuable, to be precious, be costly, be appraised. So in that day, the Lord Yahweh Shema is going to make us, uh, uh, we're going to be the prize, man. We're going to be the valuable. Like in this right now in this society, the woman, according to how she looks, she's a prize in this society. You know, according to what she has and how she looks, she's a prize in this society. Well, in that day. We're going to be the prize in this society, man. Why? Because we're going to have that, that treasure, which is that knowledge and wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Bashir and Yahweh Shai, of his work. Okay? And we're going to be appraised in that day to make something precious. We're going to be precious in that day. Okay? See, these women, they think they're precious now. Nah. Nah. Wait till all these men are put to death in, in a draft. Wait till all these men are, 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 are destroyed through the famine and the, uh, the death and destruction, okay, them concentration camps. Wait till that draft happened and the majority of these men uh, 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 of fighting age are going to be over there in, uh, 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 in the middle of uh, the desert, man, okay, fighting. Then these women are going to appreciate the, uh, uh, um, the knowledge and wisdom and understanding that Yahweh Shemir al has given to his men, okay? Matter of fact, 
So we're going to be more precious than fine gold, man. Okay, you and look, well, let's look up fine gold. The he gold is the Hebrew word there is paz. It says refined and pure gold, man. So that you can find a finest piece of gold, it's not going to be worth what a man of the Lord is going to be worth in that day, man. It's not. You see? Okay. This is a uh, wisdom. I'm sorry. This is a. Uh, uh, Slapping. Hey, this is a uh, wisdom of Solomon eight and one. It says, "Wisdom reacheth from one end to another, mighty and sweetly. Doth she order all things?" See, and 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 that's that's something that the woman on this side, she's adverse to. She hates the woman on this side hates order. But wisdom orders all things, man. And if you had to apply wisdom to all your actions, which we all should be doing that or trying to do it, okay or practicing and doing it all day, applying to our life and doing it, okay? Uh, 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 the woman will be gone, man. Because she, 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 we, we be in order, but she be out of order, man. Okay, when we, when we talk about certain things in the scriptures, she gets emotionally upset, man. And then wants to play, play the game. Oh, y'all do it too. Men do it too. But it's not even up for women to judge, man. And she don't even understand what she's judging. She just emotionally distraught, and then she makes a decision that could cost her a life. Like that one uh, Jake woman, okay, uh, the Jake woman in Virginia, she beat her, uh, well, she ran over her husband, or some man that's reportedly her husband, she ran over him, and then she hit him with the uh, the bumper, man. You know, <laughs> you telling me that that's working with wisdom right there, man? You know what I'm saying? They can find your car because your license plate. They got cameras all over the place. But it's like she's so emotionally distraught, distraught she don't, she's not reasoning. Uh, hold on. Uh, it's a recent one. Yeah, this one right here. She hit dude with the, uh, she was so distraught. You are. Salaka. She was so distraught. And, and running. Salaka. She, she didn't show it. She didn't show it, but I, I see the video. I see it. Yeah. She hit him with a, uh, she, she hit him with the, uh, car. And you see him laid out right here. And then she, she hit him with the, uh, the bumper, man. Are you telling me that this is a, a woman that, that moves with wisdom? All of these witnesses and everything out here, she on the phone talking shit. You see? All this about rice in the fridge, yo. <laughs> he said, I don't know if this is true, but is that what this is about? Some rice in the fridge? She was tripping, man. You see, the, the woman, look what she's, how she's acting. Is she acting with wisdom? No, man. These women will hit you with their car and think that is nothing. When that shit is, uh, be, that's, uh, assault with a deadly weapon, man. She ran over this dude. You see? This is what the woman loves here, man. So you can't tell me that a, a, a demon like this. Is appreciates uh wisdom. Hell no, nah, man. She for the streets, man. Look what she do, man. Look what she did, yeah. Who baby is that? Salaki. I just want to see it throwing a uh throw and, and she spit on him. She's a demon. You see? And then nobody's 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 uh tackling her. Nobody's trying to uh fight her. Now, what if the roles were switched? What if that was a man and a woman was on the ground like that? Oh, all these dudes would have uh, swarmed her. The girl, the women would have swarmed them, but they just let the woman do whatever. Do you see how wild the woman is, bro? You can't tell me that she appreciates wisdom. None of these women appreciate wisdom, bro. That's why the Lord ain't dealing with them, man. He ain't dealing with no woman. Hell no, man.
The scripture says what? Unto you men I call, man. He said, Yahweh Bachelon Shah said what? Says that the, the, the uh, matter of fact, Revelation 21 and 3. Revelation 21 and 3, it says what? And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power, man. Okay? The, the Lord said his tabernacle are with many. And he will dwell with them. Okay? And you know who's dwelling with the woman? Satan. Satan is dwelling with her. And then, like, and then they, they got it flowing through the media that supposedly this dude supposedly cheated. He supposedly cheated on her. And then you see what she did? She spit on his nigga. And then she... uh. She walked on him and spit on him. And she and she threw the uh she threw the uh This shit is crazy. Look, look, she gonna throw the look. This shit is crazy. Look, look, she threw the bumper on it. Oh you see? You see, man? These women don't like come on, bro. Come on, uh Dr. Bo, man, you cool, but you off, man. You know, I mean, you're not off, right? If she don't, if your woman don't want to listen, and the scripture say cut her off, man. Matter of fact, let me get that, man. So lucky about that. Um, uh, so. I Salakia. Yeah, this is Jeremiah 3 8. And I saw when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, I had put her away and given her a bill of divorce, man. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but when they played the harlot, they played the harlot also. And this is going into us as the, the Lord's woman, man. Because the men of the Most High. We are the Lord's woman, man, and we we forsook wisdom because we were worshiping idols, man. And the Most High, He gave us a bill of divorce, man. But it's another one on there. Uh, see, I thought it was uh, another. It's another scripture. It says, uh, "Hold on." This is a. This is um. Yeah, this is a uh, Ecclesiasticus twenty five and twenty six. And it says, "If she go not thou," I'm gonna start. Let me read up. Let me start at twenty five. It says, "Uh, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gather abroad, to gather abroad." And that's why the women are they are the way they are today. That's exactly why, because they got liberty. They got too much liberty. It says, if she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. And what does it mean if she won't go uh, the ways uh, uh, the ways you would have her? That means if she don't follow, if she's not obedient to you, she don't follow your word, man. She don't reverence you. You know what I'm saying? If she just, she constantly bucking up. Now, again, this was what, uh, oh, I didn't say it, but uh, in, in, in the New Testament, Yahweh Shai said that it wasn't so, that a woman was supposed to be with her husband forever, man. But because of the, what's going on, just wickedness is abound, evil is abounding, wickedness is abounding, perverseness is abounding. A, a woman, if she feel a certain way, she wake up on the wrong, so-called wrong side of the bed and she can serve you with divorce papers, man. And take everything you got, man. Damn half. She'll take everything you got, man. Now, this chick, her face ain't all over, plastered all over the news. If this was a, a man that did something like this, you know, his face would be you. They should be talking about this next week, man. All the women that come out of this, the woodworks about how they were, how they've been in abuse and they were in an a abusive relationship and how they, how they man cheated on them. And, and, and all the women, they silent. When they see shit like this, 
they silent. This don't this don't look out of order to them. But to us, to men, to the men of the Lord, this is hella out of order, man. This this whole situation is out of order, and Yahweh Bashim is going to destroy this black demon, man. But again, oh, 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 this dude, he wasn't right anyway, because clearly he wasn't in the truth. Because if he was in the truth, he wouldn't even be dealing with no, nothing like this, man. That bitch is straight up monster. But that's why we need wisdom. When you lack in wisdom, you do simple shit like this, man. You know, and end up in in in, in predicaments like this, man. But again, it's because that woman, she hates that knowledge, man. She hates the knowledge. She hates wisdom. She hates to think. Women hate to think. You know, women hate to think. Ask just a simple test. Ask your woman uh, uh, what she want to eat, man. And you'll be there all fucking day. Okay, it says, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 21. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, except the Most High gave her, gave her me, and that was a point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was. Like I said earlier, wisdom is a gift. Faith is a gift from Yahweh Bashim Shai. I prayed unto the Lord and besought him, and with my whole heart I said, okay? Back in, the, uh, I think I was in Job. I wanted to finish Job off. Job, uh, no, that was it right there. I was in, I was in, in Job. This is, uh, Back in uh, this is back in a blue letter. I I typed in wisdom, which shows up uh, two hundred and thirty four times in two hundred and twenty two verses. Man, wisdom. It says, and all the women of her heart stirred him up. Salakia. Hey, because see, check this out. Hey, this is when the woman, she uh, when Yahweh Shema was shy, gave the woman certain wisdoms, certain certain industrious skills, man. To do things. It says this. It says, uh, Exodus 35 and 24. Everyone that did offer an offering, silver and brass, brought the Lord's offering, and every man with whom was found shittim wood for any work of the service brought it. It says, And all the women that were wise hearted did spin with their hands and brought and brought that which had spun both blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen. It says, and all the women whose heart stirred them up in wisdom spun goats here, right? Because Yahweh Bashim was shy, put it on a woman spirit to what? To be crafty with these, uh, with all this spinning, man. All right. It says that uh, word, I just want to look up this word for, um, or the phrase for, um, <laughs> yeah, this one right here. Wise hearted. So it says wise hearted could come. Could come. And it says wise, skillful, shrewd, crafty, <clears throat> wily, learned. So he, <clears throat> the most high made him uh, uh, learn he uh, how to spin. So <clears throat> this is a uh, an example right here. This is a, I'm going to end it with this. But this is an example of Job, not Job, uh, Lot <clears throat> and how his woman didn't take heed to, to wisdom. And this wisdom came from the angels, man. Directly from Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai to the angels, man. But she didn't uh she didn't take heed. It says uh Genesis 19 and 17. And it and it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said, Escape for thy life, right? Because uh, this is when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna destroy. Uh, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, and uh, the, an the angels were sent to warn Lot in his household. And it says, "Escape for thy life, and not not behind thee." I'm sorry. Let me read it again. It says, um, "And it came to pass when, and it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad, that that he said, escape. Matter of fact, yeah, because it was the angels that said it." Uh, the angels speaking. He said, and he said, escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. Okay, let me skip down. This is, uh, 
uh, verse 23, the sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered Zoar. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Shai out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the city that which, uh, and that which grew up upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. So here it is, they're on a run because Sodom and Gomorrah is raining, being, uh, Brimstone is being rained down, and his woman didn't take the knowledge and take the wisdom from the knowledge and wisdom from the uh, the holy angels, not to look back. Why did it, why did the angels tell her not to look back? Because she would be destroyed, man. It says, um, right. It says uh, verse seventeen, Genesis nine nineteen seventeen, and it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said, "Escape for thy life, look not back." Need uh look not back, look not behind thee, Salakia. Look not behind thee. And the reason why a lot of women look behind her is because she was uh attached to the world, man. That particular world back then. She was she was attached to everything, all the riches and all the wealth and, and Sodom and Gomorrah. And she was thinking like shit, man, it's all gonna burn up. Everything we have is gonna burn up. We ain't gonna have nothing. So she looked back, and then she was turned into a pillar of salt. Which that was a lack of faith, which the woman don't have anyway. She don't have uh, the uh, uh, faith on a level of a man. You know? That true faith, man. Okay? So Lot, Lot's wife, she, she, failed to, she failed to do what? To, to appreciate wisdom. Okay? And she was destroyed because of it, man. Like the foolish uh, men and women among our nation to, uh, uh, are going to be destroyed, man. Which two thirds of Israel are foolish, man. Stupid, sottish. You know. So I just wanted to bring that out, man. I hope brothers are edified. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kadosh. I say double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone for teaching this word in truth and sincerity for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim. Keep pushing, keep striving. We're almost out of here. It's Shalom.